Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day and it is massive grocery haul day. I was finally able to get back to Sam's Club, it's been months and then I shopped at my local grocery store as well so I have a huge haul for you. If you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. This is where I offer personalized macros and calories that it is exactly what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions and accountability or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this massive grocery haul. So the first part of my massive haul comes from Sam's Club. I did my Sam's Club run. It has been probably three months, maybe even longer since I've been. So let me show you what I picked up. So the first thing is a two pack of Listerine. This was actually on sale. This is the gum therapy. I've never used this one before in Glacier Mint. I actually put mouthwash in my water flosser. It was something I saw on TikTok and it feels like you just left the dentist. So I really have been liking that. So I add a little mouthwash and warm water to my water flosser. So I picked up the two pack and then I got these little non bites. I have some dip, hummus, things like that. I thought that would be a nice snack. I could even pair these with the cheese that I grabbed. These are the cracker cut cheese. There's actually mild cheddar, Swiss, Colby Jack, and Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack's my favorite. I thought these two together would be a really good snack. I also grabbed a three pack of ketchup for Troy. That boy goes through a lot of ketchup. So I went ahead and picked up the three pack. This was on coupon for about $8. And then I was so excited that they still had the Caramel Popcorn Premier Protein. So I picked up two cases, $25 at Sam's Club, $30 at Walmart. So you actually can save $5 per case. This is one of my very, very favorite flavors of Premier. I also grabbed paper towels while I was there. That's a Costco Sam's Club staple. Cream, I like to put this on my yogurt bowls. My, I'm going to be making Ninja Creamy ice cream again now that the weather is getting warmer protein pudding. The dogs always get whipped cream when I make a protein shake. $8 for three of them. These were almost $6 a piece at Fry's. I couldn't even believe it. So I grabbed them from Sam's Club. I also needed a restock of our taco seasoning. We are just about out. And I did grab a two pack of the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil Spray. So the two pack at Costco is double the size, but is a lot more expensive. This was $9. And they're smaller, but they fit better in my cupboard. And as long as I have that particular avocado, oil spray I'm happy and then I also did a restock of vanilla this was on sale for ten dollars which is a really really good deal and then I found these little baby dill pickles they were three dollars and 98 cents that's a killer killer deal and when I got up to the checkout the lady said that these are the best little dill pickles so I'm really glad that I picked them up I also got the premier protein pancakes I think these are going away again because there was only maybe 10 boxes left they used to be $10, now they're a little over $12, but that's still a really good deal because that's 36 pancakes, and I think I paid $7 for the small box at Walmart. So I picked up one of those, and then I was so excited to see these. I actually tried them. I'm glad I got two bags because they're amazing. These are from True Fru. These are the freeze-dried peaches in cream, so like a white chocolate. These are so, so good. So like I said, I picked up two bags. $10 a bag and it's 150 calories per serving. Perfectly clean, amazing ingredients. I love True Fruit and Sam's Club always has it. Costco never does. So I grabbed two. I also picked up some uncured black forest ham for Troy and I for sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, meat, cheese, and crackers. And then I always get the uncured Canadian bacon at Sam's Club. I'm thinking now I should have probably got two packs, but that's okay. I picked up a pack. It's actually a double pack. I throw one in the freezer, one in the refrigerator. And then I also restock cheese. I grabbed sharp cheddar this time. This is $7, which is an incredible deal. And then Troy needed toothbrush, a restock of his toothbrushes. I use a Sonicare, but he uses just the regular toothbrush. And these were on sale for $10. I also picked up some more Ritz crackers for Troy. That's his go-to for his meat, cheese, and crackers. And then similar to paper towels, did a restock on toilet tissue. 
And then I always grab Troy canned while I'm at Sam's. They have a much better selection than Costco. So this time I got the 12 cans of the beef ravioli. This was less than $12, so less than a dollar a can. And then the chili is a steal. Six cans, $10. I paid $2.50 a can at the grocery store, so that was definitely a great deal. His favorite bread is the Sara Lee artisanal bread. They only had the wheat, so I picked up the two pack. Again, I throw one in the freezer, one in the bread box. I had Lola's hip and joint chews back. They actually haven't had these in a long time and they were on sale for $12. So I picked those up for her. A Caesar salad kit because you already know I love these with my real good chicken nuggets. And then I grabbed some mini cucumbers, some bananas, and then some fresh raspberries. And what's not shown is a case of Gatorade Zero. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the, this week's grocery haul. So here is the rest of my grocery haul for the week from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. So as always, I did grab two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then Sam's Club only had Oikos Triple Zero, and I just finished off a whole case from Costco. So I wanted some different yogurts this week. So I did two of the Chobani Zero Sugar. The milk and cookies is one of my very favorite flavors. And then I got this strawberry cheesecake. I love the Too Good Lemon. This is a seasonal flavor. Usually comes spring, summertime. It is so good especially for a yogurt bowl with some berries on it. And then I got two more of the little light and fit flips, like the remixes. This is the brownie sundae. And then I also got this strawberry cheesecake. This one's really good. That way I have just some different yogurt options for the week. I picked myself up some more Fairlife milk because I am just about out. And then I grabbed this little assortment of mini cookies for Troy and I for the week. Those little M&M cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and sugar cookies. I love how small these are. They're just the perfect sweet treat. And then I also got two packs of the little mini blueberry scones. I love these. These are so soft so so good and they were 50% off so each pack was only a dollar 25 I also needed some petite sirloin or a lean cut of steak I'm going to be making a sheet pan dinner stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep I also picked up some white chocolate chips I actually need these for a recipe as well as some low-carb tortillas they were really expensive at Sam's Club I want to say $6.99 or $7.99 I got these for $2.99 so I went ahead and held out till I went shopping at Kroger at Fry's and I'm really glad that I did because that was a much better deal I also needed some one third less fat cream cheese for a recipe. And then I picked this up for Troy. He's actually going out with his dad tomorrow and I thought that he could take this with him. It's just strawberries, blueberries, almonds and white cheddar cheese, just a little snack pack. And then I grabbed a couple of bags of shredded cheese. First off is this, first off is this I Alpine blend. It's a blend of Swiss and Gruyere. I actually need a Gruyere cheese for a recipe. I had a coupon for this brand, so I'm glad that I found something that actually had that cheese in there. And then I also got some light reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese for a recipe. And then for produce, I grabbed a big bag of organic yellow onions. These were actually less expensive than the non-organic. So I grabbed those. Huge bag of carrots. This was $1.90. I have that really good law terrafina dip. Oh my gosh, by the way, that caramelized onion dip is incredible. And I thought carrots would be really good with that. And I have some hummus in the fridge as well. I needed lemons for a recipe, so I went ahead and just grabbed a bag. I do like to put fresh lemons in my water. And these are seedless. Who'd have known? I didn't even know that they made seedless lemon. Now I do have a lemon tree right there in my backyard, but we cut it back pretty far last year and it's not producing fruit yet. When it does, I have an overabundance of lemons, but until then I do have to buy them. And then their big, huge jumbo blueberries were $3.99 and I need blueberries for my meal prep. And then for that sheet pan dinner, I need a green bell pepper. I also grabbed two 12 packs of Diet Coke right now at Kroger stores, they're $9.99. So it's a really good deal. So I grabbed two 24 packs for Troy. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So I didn't end up making that tortellini soup last week. So I'm going to make that this week as well as sheet pan steak fajitas. You guys will actually see that recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. And then we'll have a leftover night as well. We still have some Irish stew that was featured in this last week's what I eat in a day to finish up. And then here's what's on my meal. Here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making peanut butter, banana baked oatmeal cups. I'm so excited for these. This is my first take on an oatmeal cup. So I'm super, super excited. And then for lunch, I'm 
doing a French onion meatloaf. I love French onion soup. I love onions in general, especially sauteed onions, so I'm excited for that. And then lastly, I'm making blueberry lemon cookies perfect for spring. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up. We had a big haul, lots of new food finds, great deals. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Again, stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.